Mm. Okay, so we we'll just see the um, the ways to instruct and to palpation of. And so this is an example of diabetic foot ulcer. So we have inspected on the periphery of the ulcer, like the dry skin, any autonomic nervous <coughs> disruptive changes regarding the foot. So how this we are using an example of diabetic foot ulcer to describe a wound and examine a wound, mean the inspection and palpation. So inspection always remember the number of ulcers, size, size, shape, age, margin and floor. So how many ulcers are there? Solitary, there's one and it's solitary. Size, site, sorry, site. To describe the site in the, uh, in a, uh, with regards to the position, surface anatomy. So you can say that you can use two points. So whether it's at a torsal aspect or the plantar aspect of the foot. Number two, whether it's at a forefoot, midfoot or hind foot. So here I could just say that it is at the um, posterior medial aspect of the right foot having coverage over the forefoot and midfoot. Okay. Size. Size. Size measure it. So it will, can be approximately maybe 7 by 4 centimeters. 7 by 3 centimeters. Shape. Shape would be ovoid. Maybe ovoid. Okay. Shape. Then age. So the definition of age of ulcer is the mode of communication between the flow of the ulcer and the margin. So flow of ulcer is the exposed part of the ulcer and the margin is the surrounding so how the ulcer communicate it's like the wall of the ulcer wall, uh, the ulcer is like a hole so what's the wall which makes up that ulcer is it punched out is it sloping so here it is punched out you can see there's a 90 degrees turn here from the floor it communicates 90 degrees towards the margin of the ulcer and the march um, edge is done margin so margin is well de defined margin well demarcated Next floor of the ulcer, the exposed part of the ulcer. So you can see that this is sluffy. It is full of slough, you say sluffy, it does granulation, you say the floor of the ulcer is with granulation tissue. Then how will you palpate for the ulcer? So palpation, you want to palpate the floor of the ulcer. So gently just palpate the floor of the ulcer. Look for any signs of tenderness, look at the patient's face for any primates. No tenderness, so this is indicative of Peripheral neuropathy in diabetic foot ulcer, an example of diabetic foot ulcer. Look for any evidence of bleeding. There's no any sign of bleeding, so indicative of vasculopathy. And slowly milk around. Look for any discharge, say pus discharge. Okay. And finally, you palpate for the base of the ulcer. What is the definition for base of ulcer? The structure on which the ulcer lies. So, what is the component which is beneath the ulcer? How deep is the ulcer? So if it is firm in consistency, if you palpate, if it is firm in consistency, it is muscle. If it is hard in consistency, it is bone. So the base of the ulcer can be either muscle or bone. So finally, you just say that upon palpation of the floor of the ulcer, there's no um, tenderness, there's no bleeding, there's pus discharge, and the base of the ulcer is firm indicative of muscle.